Uber passengers with kids. Let me tell you something. I'm sick of y'all not doing the right thing when it comes down to your kids in my vehicle. I just had a passenger who had a, a toddler, maybe two, three, kicking on my stuff, like kicking on this. Like, why are you kicking on the back of this? Why are you kicking? This is not a foot rest. It's not a stepping stool. I just sat here, you know, and watched them, you know, get into my vehicle with this big old car seat. It wasn't even a booster. It's a big tall one. The lady, she's getting it. She just, it's like she's just putting it, pushing, pushing the, the car seat. In my car, it's like, why are you hitting the ceiling of my, the, why are you hitting the top of it, though? Are you that dumb? Like, come on. I pull up to pick up the lady. The car seat's sitting in the puddle. It's raining today here in Atlanta. It's sitting in the puddle. I'm like, here we go. Thank goodness I put sheets down because they stupid. They stupid. And I find that it's always the Africans. I don't care. I'm black, but I ain't African. I'm sure, yeah, my ancestors and all that. <laughs> yeah. But straight from Africa, they don't give a darn. They don't give a darn. They don't care about black Americans anyway. They think we're dumb. No. I'm starting to think y'all dumb and ignorant. This lady, it's like, what country did you come from? What country? What part of the ghetto, the gutter, in whatever country you come from? Because you didn't come from the suburb. Because you don't have no common sense. You just hop right up in here. You see, she, and the bad thing about it, she sat here and she watched her kid put her dirty shoes all up on my stuff. I am so sick of y'all and y'all kids. Tearing my stuff up. No, no, and no. I had to turn around and tell her, hey, can you get your kid's foot up off my stuff? That's the only time she actually like, <laughs> yeah. Like, come on now. Why do I have to check you on your kid, though? Why? You know, it's like put me in an uncomfortable position, and it made me so uncomfortable that it makes me angry. Because it's like, as a mom, because I'm a mom, I'm not going to allow my kid to tear my stuff up. I'm not going to allow my kids to tear yours up. You know, it's like, what happened to manners, morals, values? What are you instilling in your children? Stupidity? It's like, it's a reflection on whoever raised you. You're an adult, but who raised you? Did they do a good job or not? And if they did do a good job... You either stupid or you got a mental illness and you need to take your prescription on a regular basis. Uber and Lyft drivers, we are sick of y'all ish. I'm telling you right now, we sick of it. Our vehicles are investments. Some of us, our vehicles, some of us, cars ain't paid off. Ding, da, ding, ding, ding. And for a short ride, that's why a total of four or five dollars, it's not worth some of the damage that y'all leave. Y'all leave trash. Y'all leave gum, bottle water. It's like, why? Why? Take your trash with you. Take your litter with you. I'm sick of y'all stuff now. Come on now. Next time, if I feel like somebody real stupid and they about to get in my car and act a, a fool, I'm canceling the ride in their face and I'm pulling off. I'm pulling off. I don't care. I don't care about oh, acceptance rating and this and that. What I care about is my vehicle at the end of the day because I know what damage y'all do. And some of y'all do it on purpose. Just out of just pure jealousy and envy. It's like, yo, at the end of the day, it's not my fault you don't have transportation, okay? Y'all want five-star service, but do y'all come in here acting one-star? And that's the end result. Messing with me if you think you're going to come in here acting ghetto or trashy. You get one star. Because I don't ever want to see you again. I only want people who have common sense. Common courtesy. Like, come on, yo. Don't get in my vehicle. Think you're going to act a muck. Because I'm going to check you. I'm going to check you. Bottom line.